when Bhakti Siddhanta uh, uh, said that a GVC should be formed and that the Acharya would be self-effulgent, did he say how initiations would go on before that Acharya became manifest? Who is he? Madhava. Madhava. What is he uh, uh, saying? He's saying when, saying when, huh? that when Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur uh -huh. formed the GBC body, uh -huh. he had said, huh? he, had said he had one. said, uh -huh. he has said, he had left instruction uh -huh. that uh, Acharya will be self-effulgent from amongst his disciples uh -huh. to continue the Sampradaya. Uh -huh. So he is asking, did he, did Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur leave any specific instructions as to how initiation would go on before this Acharya manifests himself? Mm. I can't follow. I was thinking something else. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> the, whether Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur yes. left any specific instruction uh -huh. how initiation would how continue. initiation will go on uh -huh. before after his disappearance after his disappearance and before uh -huh. that Acharya manifests himself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, we have come to understand. Generally we feel that Acharya will appoint. Ajaj, the successor. But we saw that he did not, he avoided. And necessarily, <coughs> we came to think that whatever spiritual education he has already imparted to his disciples, it's and for us. It is natural, and uh, he relied on his general preaching and instruction that it will come naturally from, from his own uh, imparted uh, grace. It will come automatically. And as it happened afterwards, uh, in relative, from relative plane, we may not appreciate that, but from the absolute standpoint, we find that uh, everything happens by the will of Krishna, Mahaprabhu, and uh, necessarily of Gurudev. And that is all good. Uh, in different ways, in different stages, and that reacted. What he told, the reaction, the reverberation is come in different way. Anaya Vidri ka bhyan yasa if we can accommodate the dissolution of Jodhu Bhangsha, the war of Kurukshetra, uh, if we find that that is not lacking in the spiritual, uh, from the absolute standpoint, then this dismemberment also is to be appreciated. Appreciated. Uh, while, while complaining, but we are t still we have to accept the inevitable. Inevitable. And through this process, the uh, inevitable will appear. Now we are sitting to find dissatisfaction in the existing administration. It is a process. And through this process, perhaps something will come out. We can't avoid this. This is a necessary process. So, after Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, that was also so, uh, 
through our uh, complaint, mm, our dissatisfaction. Mm. So many things came and it was uh, propagated and the priest in particular way. And that is the final reading of things. Mm. That in the ultimate, ultimate decision mm, is in his hand and what is have happening and that is all right. That is all, all right. Still according to our own uh, realization, uh, we shall say, you don't do this, but when done, that may be accepted as the will of Krishna. Mm. It is a peculiar thesis, antithesis, synthesis. It is undesirable, don't do it, but when it is done, it should be accepted, his will. We must um, adjust with that. In this way we have to take things. <coughs> Something seems in my mind. Sita Devi was stolen by Ramon. Hmm? It has got also meaning. It was necessary to educate us, to give us something, uh, a bright sight. It has got also a bright sight. Ramchandra was banished by the request of Koike. It has got bright sight. Jagai Madhai and the Brutas. Vijaya, Vijaya, hmm? abolitionist. Eh? It has got also many uh, press to serve the positive, the negative. is serving the positive. In this way we have to ask hmm? It is a particular process. Through the pain, child comes from the womb of the mother. Through the process of painfulness of the mother, child comes out, the object of her joy. That is the nature. So whatever we shall do, we shall do it uh, with sincerity, but not with attachment much. Mati uh, Sangusta Karmani. Because the fruit is not in your hand, so you neglect your, your uh, service. Don't do that. The fruit is not mine, then why should we labor? That satanic uh, tendency may not enter your heart. What hmm. you think to be best, you try your best for that. But don't look at the result. Hmm? At the same time, don't be idle. When I have got no connection with the result, why should I live it fruitlessly? That is satanic. He's warning against you. No. Your part only to do your, discharge your duty. And the next, with the infinity. Because you are not only, you are only a very mm, uh, a negligible portion of the infinite. So you do your duty, but the result involves so many clash to this waves of the infinite quarter. You don't go to fix that your particular duty would produce particular results. No. That is not possible. That is impossible. <laughs> 